a, a big a bet on the geek side may not be the best at articulating your value because uh, I, I wasn't that good at articulating my articulating my value what, I, what, I, what I'm looking for in my in my uh, in my mind. So that's why I reached out to you. Okay, awesome. And where are you now? Well, I'm excited to say I have a, a, a girlfriend that I love spending time with now. Yay, exciting. And you just, just, you just had a birthday too. Um, so yes. it was like perfect timing where we all we started to wrap up. It was, you just had your birthday and you were able to celebrate with her and your friends. Yes. Uh, and that was like really fun to do. And you're already planning the, the next time what you guys are going to do next. Right. Yeah, yeah. She, I would say it, it be, uh, beyond any, anything I received for my material gifts and donations, mm -hmm. the, best, the best birthday gift this year is definitely my new girlfriend. <laughs>
based yeah. on my background, based on my, the things, that, my, my quirky things that I might like. You know, yeah. like, like, like unusual mobile games. It's still, there's nothing wrong with playing those games, but right. it could be unusual, you know, or, 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 or uh, the way how we need to be flexible in terms of like sometimes uh, enjoying the nice trip, nice food. Other times, you know, can be very simple. The, uh, the, the flexibility is also very hard to, it wasn't easy to find. It took some time. Right, right. And so what was your journey in getting to where you are now? Do you feel valued? Do you feel confident? Like, what was it like through that? Well, now, now I do, but, but, it, but, it, but I didn't know uh, how, how things would work out. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the beginning, I, I did have uh, first dates uh, with about four to five other ladies. Yeah. But uh, none of those people I feel were, were the right ones for us to continue. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I wasn't sure until I saw this new girl. Yeah, yeah. Well, the great thing is, is that even through those first dates, some were okay. They're not bad women. But, some right, were, right. but I think one particularly was a bad date. Like, <laughs> how, what mindset did you have to continue and to be like, you know, I'm going to keep going. Was it built confidence in yourself and the, and the process or like, like how did my guidance help you through that? And even through the tough times, cause it's not always easy. I always tell people it's not always easy. You don't find the right girl right at first, you know? So what helped you get through that? I, well, I, I think the, that your, some of your feedback with the, with the self reflection exercises definitely helped me. Be, mm -hmm. Because I remember the exercise where you took me through to write down the top three values, how how would what, how would I see it, what to look for in terms of what they say, the way they behave, those mm -hmm. were huge. And and it's really it's not just looking useful looking for girlfriends; it's useful for life. Yeah, awesome, great. Um, and give a summary, I guess, of how my guidance, like kind of like that, you're talking about self-reflection, things like that, how my guidance helped you from point A all the way to getting that girl that you have now? Well, so, I, I, so the, the, one of the really hardest exercises that I did with you was uh, figuring out what, 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 like, what, what the top values are. I, I still remember you told me that I need to focus on connecting with the, the other person's values and vision. Uh, do not focus on complimenting on the external beauty. Uh, so so that, that, that was a huge mi uh, mindset change because before I get, too, uh, I get sucked in too easily when I see a pretty girl. <laughs> There's so many pretty girls, you know? So. <laughs> That's great. And how would you um, describe my coaching style and how it helped you? Well, I, I, I like how you told me to try different things. Uh, I, like, like even like talking to strangers, uh, uh, use different online dating apps and see which one works out the best. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what it takes. Uh, I, I, but I like, I also, the other thing that I want to point out that, that you helped me with a lot was the system. You definitely gave me a system. Like how, what to comment on, what to like, how to respond to their feedback how to get them to tell their stories. That's the most important, one of the most important factors. Right. It kind of laid it out for you. Cause I know when you started, you were just confused, right? Like yeah. there's vague information out there, but yes. when you really, I guess you'd say systemize or I logically kind of structured it out so yeah. that it all makes sense. Um, and usually when I say that it almost can feel robotic, right? But did you feel like you had to change yourself at all? Or was it more like just bringing other parts of you out? Well, it's it's I it's still not the most natural thing. The 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 the, the way that you taught me how to ask the ask questions, how to dig deeper, how to be a better listener. Actually, that's another important uh, factor. M mm -hmm. Because now that I, now now I learned, you know, it's just like it's also like, like it applies to the human communication in general. We shouldn't be talking all about ourselves. We need to just, you know, talk for a little bit, ask a question, talk a little bit, ask another question. And so it back and forth, learn from each other. Yeah. That, that's, that's definitely applies to dating, uh, dating and real life. Right, right. So it's more like, just like a job interview, it's like how to structure kind of the interaction. Yes. But you're still yourself. 
Like if anything, yes. I feel like you have come out more, more confident in yourself, but yeah. it is unnatural and uncomfortable in the beginning because it's new. It's weird. It's different. Um, yeah. But, but it doesn't seem like you're changing the core of who you are. Do you That's feel like true. that? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so tell us more about where you are now and like that kind of journey, like when you went on a date with her, feeling confident and um, a little bit more about her life, like how are you feeling right now? That's what everyone gets excited to talk about. Well, I, I, I definitely have, have some, have another aspect of my life that I could get excited about every mm -hmm. single day. We, 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 we text each other. Sometimes I mix it up with a, with a, a surprise call after her work, you know, mm -hmm. to pleasantly give her, you know, let her, let each other hear our voices. So yeah, it, it's, it's been going great. It's amazing. And do you feel like in the beginning, you said you were afraid that you didn't, you wouldn't feel valued or you feel like someone isn't connecting with you or would connect with you. Right. Do you go, go into that a little bit more if you're feeling that now and how she reciprocates and makes you feel valued and all that. Uh, well, I, I, I like how, uh, how we, we are very grounded with the way we see life. We are both very, we're both extremely positive. Uh, I one of, one of my one, one of my, my fav her, the favorite response I hear whenever I ask her how uh, like what are you excited what are you most excited about for, for uh, you know let's say on the morning uh, just to say say hi how, what are you most excited about she would say is it is another opportunity to make it a great day wow <laughs> uh, the way the reason I know that we are on to something great in terms of building this relationship together. It's because we know how to compromise for one another. Like, like the, the second day, you know, she suggested that let's go do painting together. And then I suggested that we have a vegan lunch together. So we're both open to trying new things yeah. for each other, within each other's world. Yeah, it's like a partner and a teammate. Yes, teammate. yes, That's yes. Awesome. All right, so about the actual 101 program, many people are usually too scared to get help on this because it's such a vulnerable topic. Um, it can feel very shameful. And as we know, you're Asian, which can be more shameful to get this kind of help, right? <laughs> feel that. Yeah, yeah. Can you speak to that? And what would you say to people who are thinking, like, isn't this weird to get help? What would you say? I was actually brave enough to tell my parents about getting a dating coach. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, then, and, that. That, and, but, and then both my mom and dad thought I was crazy. I was <laughs> out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, speak to that. Why, why did you do that? And in your own mindset, yeah, why was it not shameful and things like that? Uh, well, it, it, I, I was definitely uh, not sure about the reaction I would get. I, I, there, I definitely thought about just hiding it un, uh, for myself mm -hmm. uh, because I didn't have to share that. Mm -hmm. but, but, but I feel I, I, I really value honest communication. I, don't, I like to just put it out, all out in the open. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this, the new girl I found, we shared this, that, that same um, uh, the core idea about mm -hmm. just sharing your feelings. Wherever you feel, be honest about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, yeah. I, I do the same way. I know my, uh, there's a lot of things that I'm trying that my parents might not agree with. But you've got to be willing to try. You know? It's just like in, in, in things in life, right? You only got one life to live. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you're saying even if you had that feeling of shame, you're telling them, you if this is a goal that you want, why not try and, right. and do something so that you can potentially get there. So you're yeah. saying that want for that kind of goal is higher to you than the shame. You're like, fine, like if it feels shameful, oh well, but <laughs> you're, you're like, I'm gonna go towards my goal. Right, right, right. right. I, I, I think that in terms of the, the shame factor, the reason I was able to get over that was because I, I, picture, I imagine myself spending time with someone I love to take them on my life, the, the journey the, that I'm going. I'm still not sure where I'm going. You know, I, I'm trying speaking, I'm trying e-sports, e I'm trying different things. Right. But, but, I, but I, I want someone that could be there with, my, with, with, um, uh, with the journey together and we support each other. 
Yeah, because if if I wait, I could, I thought I thought I could uh, just wait until I get there when yeah. I make like like a lot of money, everything is successful, everything is wonderful in life. But then then that's I don't know when that will be, and that's not the right person either. You know, mm-hmm. because the right person the the right person is someone that's there for you when when you need when you you're trying to get on the uh, get on the foot, you know, get on the past guest pedal, try to get going. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this falls into the next question I usually ask. This is obviously an investment and you were like on with me for three months. Yeah. So it's not like an easy investment where you're just like, no. whatever, it's fine. No, um, no, no. What are, the, what are the reasons you noticed that this heavy investment was worth it when you first said yes? I don't want to keep uh, guessing uh, in terms of how to find the right person in my life. Mm-hmm. I I read many I read many articles I read I read about you know what you know the general things to look for, but I, I I'm at a point in my life where I don't want I want to uh, spend less time guessing, awesome. <laughs> and that's why that's why having a coach like you helps. Yeah, guessing is takes a quite a lot of time, right? And for someone like you who's driven and ambitious and wants and has all these other in his life um it's kind of like you don't want to spend another five six hours googling for yourself and you're not sure if it even works um kind of like any one-on-one coaching and like as for you you're kind of in the speaking world if you have clients you know you help them get to those results faster so that's awesome yeah right great um and speaking of which so last but not least a lot of times people that are watching this they're on the edge or they wonder if they should do this program um but First, before they join, they need to kind of figure out what qualities do they need to be successful? What qualities do you think going through this process does a person need to be like you right now? Confident, knowledgeable, knows what he's doing and has dates or has a girlfriend. What do you think the qualities they need is? Well, I, I, it's, it's, I would say you, you, you need to be willing to commit the time and energy and implement to the the things you learned, mm-hmm. and then more, and then once you have the girlfriend, it's it, it's it's only the first step. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's, it's so it, it's important to continue to build the connection, really uh, care for each other, and care for each other is not just you know good good morning, good evening. It's I I try to ask something that that will let her tell a story. Like what you get, what are you excited about? What do you feel most? What was the what, most wonderful thing that happened in your day? You know, some something that could that would continue to build a connection, mix mix things up. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, what qualities do the does the client need to be successful in this program? Yeah. So so it's like definitely uh, self driven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So self driven, and then you said before time and energy. Yeah. Um, and anything else i feel like i want you to speak about i think because for you you had a really strong mindset through this all yes it got tough even when it got busy yeah Um, and i think you're a really good example of that and how even through the bad date um like you you were okay after you know so can you speak on the mindset that you'll need in this program well, it, it just because the first f- four, five, six dates don't work out doesn't mean it's over. It, 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 it takes time. It takes patience. Uh, it, 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 it takes uh, the being open-minded. Not, and it's not, it's not because you're doing, you know, you're doing anything, anything wrong. Mm-hmm. It's just that those five, six people might not be the right person for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. So it is like being open to the process and then yes. continuing forward with whatever yes. happens. Yes. Oh, great. Um, last but not least, this is kind of your last closing um, statement, whatever you want to say. Uh, like I said, people that are watching this usually are on the edge of thinking of if they should work with me or not. Um, I'll leave it up to you. What do you want to say to them? Um, and anything else that you want to say? Well, well I, 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 if you are someone that, that is a very really nice guy, but feel afraid to be very clear with your intention and your values because that's not easy to do you, you could have th- these things sitting in your heart 
But in order to, for you to put that out in the real world, it's not so easy, and, you know, with, with a complete stranger. <laughs> you know, even this girl that I met, wet mad, was a complete stranger. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, so I, def, I definitely recommend uh, working with someone like you to make, it, make the whole process easier. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much for all the kind words and sharing of your journey. Um, and check him out, guys. He's, he's doing a lot of great, a lot of great work out there. Um, and I'll probably link it in the bio as well. Um, but he also has a book. What's the book's name? Champion by Choice. Yes. And, um, and he talks about actually, well, mindset in there. Uh, may not be about dating, but it's definitely relatable to dating because I yes. think because all right, because you choose to be a champion, um, you choose that in your dating life too. Yes, so you've probably reached that success. So. Yeah, you have a choice on how you show up to people, and that's very, that, that's also another important thing because you, because you can have all the great best systems in place, but if you show up groggy, you show up you 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 don't show up positive in the right right way. You know, it's gotta be hard to attract the the other person too. Right, right, amazing. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Good luck on everything else with the lady and with all your greatest adventures. Thank you so much, William. Um, and thank you guys so much for listening. Till next time.